Hi everybody. Um, yeah, I'm not having anybody look at me right now. I don't look good right now. Um, <laughs> um, I just wanted to make a quick video while I'm alone and um, talk about Carrie Underwood's new album, Cry Pretty. So for those of you who don't know her, her album came out on Friday, September 14th. Um, and I pre-ordered it online, so it came the next day for me. And um, of course, I got to open it and listen to it right away. And I am so in love with the entire album. Um, it is, without a doubt, her best album to date. Of course, I say that with every album she releases, because nothing she does is terrible. Um, it doesn't really have that much of a country feel to me. Um, I mean, there's some songs that definitely have some country sound to it, but there's more that's kind of like a R&B feel to a pop feel. Um, but the stories that she sings about are definitely something country singers do sing about. Um... Obviously, Cry Pretty is based off of how 2017 was for Carrie. Um, she uh, was trying to have another baby. That was the year she was going to start writing for her next album and try to have another child. And um, apparently, she had no trouble getting pregnant. It was just she kept having miscarriage after miscarriage. She had three in total. Um, so Cry Pretty came from that and also from her accident where she fell on her face and had to have all those stitches and reconstructive surgery to her mouth. Um, so I think that's where Cry Pretty came from. And it's obviously a heck, one heck of a song. I mean, I don't know how she can do all those vocal gymnastics. It's like, holy moly. It's like, where did this come from? Um, and then in August, she revealed that she was expecting her second child, um, which I'm very excited for. Um, I've been hoping to hear she'd be pregnant sooner, too, but, you know, um, whatever God can do for her, you know. But um, the only song I'm really not that crazy about on the album is called The Song... The the song we used to make love to or something um, or another I mean it's okay but it's not my favorite song um, Ghosts on the Stereo is nice um, Low is a good song um, the songs that really tug at your heartstring though are the bullet and um, spinning bottles. For me, those are the ones that made me cry immediately after hearing the the songs. I was very distraught after hearing them because it's like, wow. Um, the bullet is when a life is taken too soon um, from obviously being shot whether it's somebody um, in the line of duty or whether it's a, a, just a off the street shooting or something. Um, just that it doesn't affect just one person. It goes through everyone in, the, in his family tree, basically. Um, the chorus is to every birth, to every branch of his family tree, to every birthday that he'll never see. Every chance to live a good life that's been stolen, the bullet keeps on going. To the son he'll never get to raise his water his daughter on her wedding day, wishing it was his hand his hand she was holding. Till every heart that's left to break is broken, the bullet keeps on going. And that is the part because the way she sings it, oh my god, it is so beautiful but so sad. Um, you know, in the first verses, I guess, when they're leaving, the, getting ready to leave the funeral, 
the second verse is after the funeral. I mean, the grass is growing around the stone and friends keep calling to check in on the telephone. That kind of thing. You know, everybody kind of goes about their day, but yet the mother's still grieving and the family's still grieving. Because it doesn't just end with the mother, you know, it ends with whoever else was left behind. And every person who he hasn't gotten to meet yet, who will never get to know him, like that son he'll never get to raise. Um, or he'll never get to walk his daughter down on, on her wedding day. You know, that, that to me spoke volumes. And um, Spinning Bottles is about so, um, somebody with alcoholism and... You know, how the wife is at home hoping he doesn't drive that night. Um, and she's praying and she's checking the clock, wondering where he is, worried sick, pretty much. And then the second verse is him. He's in a hotel somewhere, afraid that he's finally ch screwed his chances up with his wife. And... Um, He's drinking away the pain and he looks in the mirror and he can't recognize himself anymore. Um, so that was a very sad song as well. But one of my favorite songs on the entire album, I mean, yes, all the songs are my favorite songs, but this one tops the list, even above Cry Pretty, um, is Love Wins. I think Love Wins is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you haven't seen the video yet, I suggest you go check it out. Carrie Underwood looks like an angel, but, you know, I think she is one. Um, but anyway, that was an exciting thing, was getting her album. And also, I got to watch on a live stream on YouTube, I got to watch Carrie Underwood um, receive her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That was exciting and that was emotional. I got teary-eyed when I saw Simon and Brad and then, of course, Carrie Underwood comes up and starts bawling and I start crying. <sighs> and then after that, I got to see, oh my God, I don't know why she never showed pictures of her son before and I hope when she has her daughter, which yes, I'm banking on she's having a daughter this time. I hope she gets to show the second baby off because... Isaiah is absolutely precious. Um, she does know the gender. She was on Ellen DeGeneres um, either last week or the week prior. I'm not sure which. Um, where she was talking to Ellen. And of course, Ellen thinks she's having a little girl too. I think everybody thinks she's having a little girl, which I'm hoping she has a little girl. But even if she doesn't, I'll be happy either way, as long as the baby's healthy. Um not my kid anyway. I'm not having kids. Um, I used to want kids and then as a, as I got older and things started happening, I just decided it would probably be better, not just for me, but to any future children I would have had, just not to bring them into the world. Um, because, well, I'm a great mom to my cats. I don't think I'd do that great to human babies. Just saying. Um, not everybody's fit, or not everybody's meant to have children, and I don't want them. So, I love them. I love loving up on other kids, other people's kids and babies, but I don't want my own. I like the ones you can give back at the end of the day. You know what I mean? I can go visit, and at the end of the day, or when they get a poopy diaper, I can go, here, Mommy, you can have him or her. <laughs> um, but, yes. Back to Carrie Underwood. I suggest you all check out her new album. It is fantastic. She, it's her baby. She co-produced it. Um, she wrote nine out of the 13 songs that are on there. Um, the Champion's on there with Ludacris, which is absolutely a great song. I love it. I loved it when I heard it, uh, whenever it came out, a year ago maybe. Um, And Carrie Underwood, if you can read this or hear this, you are still absolutely stunning. You know, I can't tell you had an accident, to be honest. Now, 
I know you say you cover your face up with makeup, but you don't have to do that, honey. You're beautiful.